Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. I'm sorry that I cannot join you in person today, uh, but as members of the British Chamber of Commerce in Singapore, you know better than most how critically important this trade partnership is for our two nations. Britain and Singapore are friends, allies, and trading partners bound by close historic ties stretching back more than 200 years. With economies that are deeply intertwined today across a range of sectors, from finance to pharmaceuticals, tech to telecommunications, minerals to machinery. When welcoming Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew to London in 1990, Margaret Thatcher said that for the British, Singapore is a byword for excellence in education, in commerce, in high technology, and perhaps less obviously, in traffic management. I think we've still got quite a lot to learn there ourselves. Our admiration for Singapore stands stronger today than ever before as we seek to develop this crucial trade relationship further and faster in the years ahead. And we are building on solid foundations with Singapore, the UK's largest trading partner in ASEAN and a key hub for British business across the region. Last year, total trade with between our two countries was worth £15.5 billion sterling with over 10,000 UK firms exporting goods to Singapore. British businesses, including your members, recognise the huge benefits Singapore provides as a springboard to Asia Pacific. With the Singaporean government a key advocate for Britain as we seek to deepen our economic and trade cooperation with nations across this region. As global champions of free trade, our two countries are aligned in our support for the rules-based international system, a cause that has grown in importance in the wake of the COVID pandemic. The signing of a free trade agreement between Britain and Singapore by Secretary of State for International Trade, Liz Truss, in December was a moment of enormous significance for both countries. This is the UK's second biggest trade agreement in Asia Pacific after our deal with Japan and ensures that British businesses maintain their enhanced access to this crucial market, safeguarding a gateway to the region for trade and investment. This agreement locks in the benefits of the EU Singapore FTA, ensuring tariff free access for all British goods. And it maintains enhanced access for UK service providers and suppliers to government procurement, together with reduced non-tariff barriers for our advanced manufacturers and food and drink producers. Most significantly, this FTA provides the basis for deepening and strengthening our trade ties into the future, as evidenced by our plans to launch negotiations on a UK-Singapore Digital Economy Agreement, a DEA, in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, accession to the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, or the CPTPP, would be a stepping stone towards building an ever closer trade relationship between the UK and Singapore. Placing Britain at the heart of a modern progressive network of free trade agreements and connecting us ever more closely with some of the world's most dynamic economies. Singapore is an influential founding member of the CPTPP and we are grateful for her support for our application to join. And I'd like to thank the British Chamber of Commerce for its work on behalf of businesses, your members and the wider UK community in Singapore in partnership with our DIT network and the High Commission. I know that our Trade Commissioner for Asia Pacific, Natalie Black, our Acting Trade Commissioner, Sam Myers, and our High Commissioner to Singapore, Cara Owen, are hugely grateful to Richard Warburton, to David Kelly, and all of your team for ensuring that we know what is on the minds of your membership and for working so closely with us on a wide range of issues. Your support is invaluable, not least in helping communicate the needs of the British business community to the Singaporean government. And we are deeply grateful for the excellent work done by BritCham's trade services team under the grant agreement with us at DIT. Evidenced by the fact that of 40 export successes delivered or supported by our partners across Asia Pacific in 2020-21, 
14 of those 40 came from Singapore with a total value of over 25 million pounds. A great achievement. Your team's response to the pandemic has been particularly impressive, delivering 75 webinars for British businesses over the past year and launching an excellent digital trade support service. Vitally important work at this challenging time, when I know that most of you in Singapore are currently living under heightened restrictions to combat the spread of the virus. I also want to thank the British Chamber for its commitment to sustainability in business and its backing for Britain's climate change ambitions as we prepare to host COP26 in Glasgow in November. We value your support in flying the flag for British business in Singapore very highly. You are a pivotal part of the wider British family in this key market, and my team and I look forward to working with you ever more closely in the coming year and beyond as we help businesses of all kinds and all sizes embrace the opportunities for trade and investment between Britain and Singapore that lie ahead. Driving growth and fostering innovation as we enter a new age for this special bilateral partnership and for Britain's trade ties across the Asia Pacific region. Thank you.